Ah. Tunog pa lang. Gulay na naman. Kuya Noel, anong lasa? Sarap. <laughs> Hey there, beautiful people! Once again, this is Bella, and welcome to Cal Talk. For more videos, please click the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe. Hi guys! In this video, we'll talk about the results of my 7-day vegan diet challenge. And today, it's September 8th. So it's already evening time here. It's 8 p.m. Anyways, let's get started. So... Maybe some of you will ask why I did this challenge. Uh, it's because of three main reasons. First, I'm having problems with my bowel movement. Second, uh, I feel bloated. The third is that I want to see if there will be any difference on my weight if I do the vegan challenge as I'm currently doing the low-carb diet. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the advantages that I got from the diet. First, my bowel movement. It became, I think, normal. Should I say normal? Yeah, because I was able to poop every day. The constipation is gone. And uh, the, the only thing is that it didn't, uh, it didn't get back to the normal time. Anyways, it's just fine with me as long as I, every day I get to poop. We all know that uh, pooping every day is very important for our health because that's the way our body cleanses, right? So I feel like I've been clean. My, my digestive tract was clean because of this diet. And the second thing is uh, the bloating. I think it's gone. I'm not sure if it's because of uh, the constipation itself. Yeah, I think so. And plus every month where we feel like we're so bloated because of our menstrual period so let me show you my tummy now how it looks like after but I wasn't able to to film the before but I swear it's really like kind of like like this not really not really on the upper part but on the lower part okay let me show it to you guys okay this is the normal this is it on the side Okay, this is normal. This is front. But still, I have this. I still have these fats. Though. Because I'm not... Because I'm not doing any exercises. The third one is the weight loss. So, let's check now if... If uh, I lose weight. Because uh, when we started, I was 48.5, right? So, now let's check. Is the real time checking? It is like this. Tap. And then we. It's 48.3. So there you go. Mm, I didn't lose that much weight. Maybe because um, I still eat normally. It's just that uh, I don't have meat. And. Anyways, what I've noticed about a vegan diet is that you tend to consume uh, lots of carbs. You don't watch your carb intake. Well, anyways, I'm not looking for too much of uh, weight loss because as you can see, I'm just maintaining my, my weight accordingly. So, it's fine. So, let's move on to the... I won't say it's negative. Uh, let's just say it's the challenges that I faced during this diet challenge. I only have three points. So number one, I feel like there are very less food options since it's my first time to do this uh, kind of diet. So I feel like I'm very limited, like only veggies. So I had a hard time picking out recipes because I need to be creative on my own and I need to uh, to avoid those foods that I'm very used to like eggs like butter milk and stuff like that cream because these are all uh, from animals because we're talking about a vegan diet and it should be strict like any animal product or byproduct should not be consumed right even though there are many options over the internet when it comes to your actual life 
like you're always in a hurry because you have to go to work early and then you have to to prepare it like fresh there are options like meal prep right like for a week uh for three days and all i don't do that stuff uh as much as possible i want to to eat something fresh like freshly cook okay I, I do eat leftovers but uh i don't intend to to do the the meal prep that's why for me it's it's a bit challenging that i have to think every day of what to cook and what to prepare number two is that the cravings especially when the people around you is eating meat and then you're there eating only veggies and you know that feeling like you feel like uh, you're depriving yourself but still you s you you need to stick on the on the challenge that you've committed but anyway i'm not doing this for other people okay i'm doing this for myself because as i said of the problems earlier right so i just thought that uh, i need to discipline myself if i want to get result if i want to get better results so even though my cravings are there i was really really into that thinking that i won't i won't cheat i won't cheat i won't cheat because i want this thing to work number three uh i don't know guys but it's just for me okay i feel like it's more expensive uh whole natural organic foods are so expensive I swear it's so damn expensive like say I was in the grocery and then I'm I I want to to buy avocados okay and for two two small pieces it's like 100 pesos each it's like what seriously so I, I put it back I changed my mind and then uh, what else especially the walnuts the almonds really it's it's really pricey what else broccoli cauliflower there's also a section in the grocery uh, which is not organic but the quality is not as good as the organic right so i opted to get those organic ones because they, of their good quality yeah so that's it that's uh that's my honest review for the seven day vegan diet challenge if you guys want to try it just give it a shot uh, i would just uh, suggest that be more practical on the food choices that you're gonna make i mean uh you don't really have to get all those expensive ones uh try to search around try to do your research as well for the local alternatives i hope you find this video useful for your daily healthy life healthy lifestyle and if you have any other health or food challenges or diet challenges that you want me to make just please comment down below and if you love this video, please click the like button. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.